Here's one of the ways to remember lumbar sacral plexus. So let's um, put letters in. Okay. So L4 is the junction between the lumbar and the sacral regions. So let's um, draw lines, a long one, then two short lines, and then three long ones, and then four short ones. Okay. And then we're going to connect um, these three lines together like this. Remember L4 is the uh, in on the border between the lumbar and the sacral region so none of the lines ever gonna cross that line. They can connect to L4 but never cross that line. So we're gonna start with L4 and connect continue connecting lines but now we're gonna do uh, skip one line. Just like that. All right, we're almost done. So now what we have to do is uh, put one more line here. That's going to be our femoral. And we're going to connect it to L4. Once again, nothing crosses L4, but we can have connections to and from L4. And then um, the S2 and S3 are going to have connections as well. One goes to L4 once again, and the other one goes just one below that. Okay, that's all we need. So now all we have to do is just name it. So this is T12 only. So that's going to be subcostal. That's under our last trip. And then we're going to have the iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal inguinal, right up here. Then we have genitofemoral right in this area. Then uh, we're going to have uh, lateral femoral cutaneous right up here and uh, the next one is going to be uh, femoral right up here uh, please know that L2 is connected to femoral by um, uh, right up here through that line so it's going to be femoral is going to be L2, L3 and L4 and then uh, we have uh, obturator uh, we have common fibula and we have a tibial right up here we have superior gluteal and inferior gluteal and superior is of course high up and um, then we have the uh, posterior femoral cutaneous and we have pedental and remember um, it goes outside of the um, sacral area and then goes back in so that's why we have that arrow pointing like that and then the last one is the uh, casigial plexus 